Hello everyone and welcome to my uh, YouTube site. Uh, Jim Hannon here with Moonscapes. And I'm putting this video up because we've got something new going around on YouTube. Uh, it's called Tag You're It. And my son Terrence, Terry, Terrence Hannon from Center of the Earth Mining Company tag me and the way this I guess is supposed to work from what I hear from him is now I get on and I talk about my favorite videos and uh, then I call out supposedly three other sites and tag them and they're it and in a way it's supposed to get people uh, out there and um, introduce them to some nice new uh, YouTube sites so first of all my vids what are my favorite vids well if I go back and look at my older videos there is one in there called I believe it's CCD a CCD slideshow it's not a live video of the moon like I do on my YouTube site uh, moonscapes it's a uh, it's a slideshow of a lot of my early CCD images when I first got into CCD image in about oh uh, probably 10 years or better ago and although I'm happy with them, they look pretty nice, they're not anywhere near what I would be capable of doing today with the new technology I was expanded and compared to a lot of people online are not as good. But, you know, I'm happy with them and they really do show a nice deep sky, galaxies, nebula. Um, uh, there are a couple of the moon there and, and some comets. It's really, really pretty good slideshow, I believe. But again, not something I could probably do much better today. Uh, and the second video back farther again, if you search back to my older videos, it was uh, one that I called, well, I don't exactly remember what I called, but there's several back in there where I dealt with lunar mappers. And what you have to remember today is that um, we amateurs uh, today, um, we take these pretty pictures of the moon and then we computer process them and they're absolutely gorgeous images. Uh, back then, 1800s, these early astronomers, or early, much earlier than us anyway, in the 1840s, 50s, 60s, 80s, not even up until the early 1900s, they actually stayed out in the cold at their telescopes. They actually had to be at the telescope in the cold and they would draw lunar maps. Now, if you ever seen the moon in high power and seen the vast array of detail, you'll just be blown away to think that these early astronomers could map the moon, but they did, and those are some of my favorites. Uh, by the way, I have had one heck of a time getting this video up. I uh, used to run around with this, an old track phone, uh, camera uh, camera and phone I used to only take it in my car when I'm out somewhere so I could contact somebody in an emergency well I have since joined the modern day revolution here and upgraded it to a uh, much better cell phone as you can see here and being an old timer I thought I was going to have a real hard time with it and I did to some extent but actually I've done fairly well I figured out everything except how to the whole load a YouTube video to, from my phone. I took a real nice video, I thought, uh, yesterday, and I've spent 24 hours trying to upload it, and I've been unable to do it for some reason. I'll have to meet my son, Terry, and uh, see what's going on. So I thought I would just repeat it here on my computer. So here I am. Now, uh, I called out my videos. Um, so now let's uh, tag some people out there. And my first tag is going to be a site called Astro Stuff by a fellow named Dylan O'Donnell uh, from Australia. It's a fantastic astronomy site. It talks about how to do all kinds of imaging, how to handle equipment, uh, different topics in astronomy. Um, just a fantastic site. And um, I have to say, I think my favorite part of his videos is the very end when he closes his, almost every one of his videos with this. Everything is meaningless, and we're all going to die. Now, as macabre as that sounds, you think about it, it's actually kind of true. Um, after we pass away, our close relatives and friends remember us. But after they're gone, you're pretty much forgotten about, except maybe for a tombstone somewhere. So maybe everything is meaningless, and of course we are all going to die. So I find that kind of funny. Uh, but it's kind of neat also. Uh, the second site I would like to call out is a site called Astro Backyard. Uh, the fellow's name is Trevor, he's up in Canada, and he has got another great site with uh, deals a lot with astro imaging. Um, it shows a lot of his equipment and how he uses it, tips, techniques, and some great, great videos. 
Uh, he's since moved from a site in really pretty much downtown with horrendous light pollution to a spot farther out of town where the light pollution is not as bad. But even in town, he was taking fabulous images. And those two fellows are the kind of ones that inspired me to do what I'm doing right now, which is setting up a new observing situation where the equipment I have is not since I've lost my observatory and I moved into retirement housing, I've had to take equipment outside and set it up every time I wanted to use it. And that's just a chore. So I, I've uh, hatched a plan here and it's working out where I'm going to be able to put my mount up permanently and the telescope permanently and keep it protected and it'll be ready to go at a moment's notice. So that means hopefully more videos for moonscapes and more CCD imaging. Um, let's see. Uh, so now, I've got a call out, let's see, I did Dylan O'Donnell of Astro Stuff and Trevor for Astro Backyard, and now, probably breaking a little protocol, I'm going to call my son Terry Hannon out, Center of the Earth Mining. Uh, in my later years, he has got me into prospecting gold and panning gold, going out in the field with him. And I have to tell you, aside from my astronomy here of 60 years, it's been uh, one of the greatest things uh, I have gotten involved in with him. We go to Vermont. Um, you're out in the woods, the wilderness, beautiful wilderness of Vermont. Nothing around but trees. And you're in the middle of this beautiful, cold mountain stream and you're prospecting for gold. And we do find gold, and he does very well finding gold. He has that great year last year. And let me tell you something. As fun as all that is, being out there in the wilderness, panning gold in the stream, the very best part of it is I'm out there with my son. And it's just it's awesome because when he was younger, I followed him when he was a, a great hockey player. He was a tremendous goalie. Um, he could have went places if we had found out earlier. And I followed him for years, There's all kinds of wicked hours, into the wee hours of the morning because the skaters uh, on the ice would get the late times compared to the figure skaters. And then they'd have to be up to work for 5.30 in the morning. But I did it because I loved it. And I love this new part of my life out there with you. Terry, uh, thank you for bringing me along. It, it's been fabulous. And I'm also going to call out another. This is the fourth one, and I'm going to call this one out also because this is a site that I've become the known become to know very well through my son Terrence and it is um, Green Mountain Gold Trap the guy by the name of Joe fantastic guy my son Terry has become very good friends with him through um, the prospecting um, and when I go up with Terry we on occasion have stopped up at his place in his basement workshop and talked with him uh, I've met him in the field very 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 nice fellow. He's called me out and commented to me several times on YouTube and has been very, very nice to me and made some very, very complimentary comments. So, Joe, thank you very much. And I hope that this little word gets uh, some more people checking your sites. So that's it, guy. It's tag, you're it. Uh, I don't know how this works, whether I have to announce to those two astronomy fellows that I tagged them. Um, I'll have to guess I'll check with my son, Terry. You know, us old fellows, we just aren't up on the technology like you are today. But uh, I'm having fun. And Terry, again I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart um, as a father and to you my son it's 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 been great and I hope I can keep it up for many more years to come as long as I can stay mobile so take care everybody I hope to see you more on my moonscape sites pretty soon and some CCD imaging take care guys talk to you soon